I'm offended. It's like, okay, conversation over. Bible senses Freemasons. Ladles are looking something like, like something else. Now, if we're going to get here this close, and we're going to throw it down there, and we're going to we're going to give it away. There it is. Spike load. It's black. This shit. It? All this shit here. No. Not conspiracy theories, they're real. Yes, still a sleepy baby. Wake up! And all power and glory goes to Christ. I'm angry. I'm offended. I'm outraged. Outraged. Can you tell? No, not really. I was once upon a time, those days long past, but. In these days of the great reveal, we do remain vigilant. So I mentioned in my abortion video a couple of weeks ago that people people offend you out of conversations. So you can't raise certain topics here in Australia because people are offended. And once someone's offended, that's it. Conversation has to end. So today, in the interest of, of in that vein, really, I'm, I'm going to talk about pedophilia and how the normalisation of it here in Australia is manifesting before my very eyes. So yesterday, I had a coffee date with a friend. He's he's turned into a good friend, this fella. Um, you just I, I read a scripture a, a couple of months ago where it said, if if somebody can't remember where it was, but if you're friends with somebody and they're not bringing you closer to God or you're not bringing them closer to God, you, you really shouldn't be having the relationship. And that, that really hit me, that, that helped me with the great reveal that I've, that I've been going through over the last six weeks or so. And this guy's a really good guy and he keeps coming back and I minister to him and he listens and you know, I asked him yesterday if he believes in God and he said, well, yeah, the earth got here somehow. I thought, rock on. And he, 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 we, we speak openly, so it's a good relationship. But anyway, this guy, he, he presents as a, as a bit of a bikey. He's got a big beard. Um, big beard and he, he looks a little bit intimidating but a nicer bloke you'll ever meet he's just got a beard you know anyway we, we had a coffee date here yesterday at Westfield where I am today I just finished at the gym gym's going well by the way I'm just personal besting it up it's unbelievable I'm just every day I'm just lifting more it's like woo but anyway I, um, I, I met him up for a coffee yesterday I went in there into the, the stage funnily enough where they had the Santa nativity suit over Christmas it's in the same area on the stage there and I saw this group of young girls dancing on the stage and it was an organised dance and they were all dressed up and they had makeup on and shit. And now, I reckon that these girls could have been as young as four and I reckon the eldest one wasn't ten, probably eight at the most. And they were clearly being sexualised, these kids. It was clear. And, and, and I, was, I was utterly, I was mortified when I walked in and I said to my mate, I said, can we please move? Can we go somewhere else? I said, I just can't. I can't witness this. I just can't. I, 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 can't, I can't do this. And he said, mate, he said, I've only been sitting here because it's our normal um, waiting spot and I don't, want to, um, I don't want to confuse the issue. And I said, all right. So he agreed, you know, and he said to me, he says, I'm just sitting here on Facebook. And he said, I've had security all over me. Like they're, they're literally all over me and I'm just sitting here on Facebook. And I thought to myself, I thought, well, this is my next idea for my next video is I'm going to do a video on this. And I thought, I'll take a couple of photos. And he said, no, don't do that because they're little girls. And I looked at him and I said, well, why are they on stage? If you can't take photos of them, why are they on stage? So clearly there's an agenda here. So they're, 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 they're normalising pedophilia because they're sexually, they're, they're sexualising little kids. You have to seem to believe it. I've, I've got things up here now, I, I, I gather I've got, because I'm getting good at my editing, I've got pictures up here now. These aren't the actual pictures that I'm showing now. These are just off their website. They're called JB Dance Group. And you can see that they're, they're clearly sexualizing these kids. And there was a whole heap of people sitting there. There's a whole heap of people sitting there um, watching these people, standing, sitting, watching these people. And you assume they're the parents, but how do you know? You know, I was talking to someone the other day and, and they said that they were sitting at, at Westfield in, the, in here and there was a dirty old man looking down the skirt of a girl. He, he, she, she just watched it. She, this person just watched them do it. And I said, what did you do? She said, I tried not to get involved. She said, but I moved. She said, I got between him and the girl. And I said, did you look at him? And she said, yeah. And I said, what happened? And she said, he just wouldn't look up. 
you know. Anyway, so it makes me think. One of my favourite shows when before I woke up was, and it was one of the last shows to fall in my grand awakening. It was before I found Christ the Chappelle. It was in that period where I woke up and before I found Christ. But anyway, it was Modern Family. I used to really like it. I thought it was funny. I used to like the old Al Bundy and stuff. But you wake up and I can't watch any TV anymore. None of it. None of it. But anyway, that show clearly, it clearly sexualises those children. It, it makes it, the way they do it is they make the children seem older and smarter than what they are. And in that show, Modern Family, they make the kids seem smarter than the adults, more sexually attractive. So it's just a little subtle way that they that they're normalising that they're normalising this type of behaviour, this, this pedophilia. Another show, um, another show here in Australia where they do it. I just noticed there. There's a show called Ben, something to do with Ben being Ben or something. He's an Asian guy, and I just saw it on the news then, Channel Nine, I think it was, um, in there at the gym. And and clearly this it was sexualising a teenage boy. He was coming out of the closet as gay as a teenage boy, and it, 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 it was clear. I just got a. We just got a, um, a confronting text. Um, it, it was clearly. Con, it was clearly sexualizing this boy. Um, this this boy is he's coming out of the closet as, as a teenager. So I'm like, right. It's like this stuff. It's like they're feeding me this morning. And then on that Today Show, which of course all the emblems are orange, not as orange as Sunrise, but all the emblems are orange. There's there's a, there, there's now a um, pedophile sex register. So. What they're doing is they're saying it's not okay for you to kitty fiddle because we don't want to, none of us want to. But little Jimmy down the street, he's going to be he's going to be held accountable for all this child trafficking that's going on by the Vatican and by the Freemasons. So everybody now is going to think, oh great, we've got a child sex register because all those kitty fiddling that's going on and all the abductions, it's little it's Jimmy down the street. But it, and they deflect away from the Freemasons and the and the um, and the Vatican, who are actually doing it, who are actually doing all organised child sex rings. So it's really it's it's troubling. It's troubling to see. Like I feel like since I found Christ and since the great reveal of a few weeks ago, um, I feel like the I feel like now I walk ten feet off the ground. And I just see everything. I, I, I'm just seeing everything. I just the whole world stage, the whole Trump thing, and all that. He's just all they're all part of it. All of them. The whole thing. The whole thing. It's just one orchestrated thing. And the only way you can see it is, is through the, the eyes of Christ. And it's just, it's just such a wonderful reveal. But to see this stuff manifesting here in Australia is, is quite alarming, really, really alarming, the way that they're sexualising children and then they're deflecting. And once again, it's like global warming. They blame us. They blame us for the stuff they're doing. Um, and they're doing it here. They blame, they'll, they'll isolate. You know, and, and justifiably, if you, if you kitty fiddle, if little Jimmy down the street, if he kitty, kitty fiddles, he off to jail, off to jail, throw away the key as far as I'm concerned, I've got no tolerance for it. But, but it's a win-win for them because they can just do whatever the hell they want because everyone's asleep, they blame little Jimmy and everyone's like, oh great, we've got a sex registers list, oh there's a guy down there, let's, 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 uh, let, let, let's go all over him, you know, let's make it all about him, but, but you know, it's the church down the street, it's the Catholic church down the street you've got to be worried about, you know. And all this shit where they're where they're sexualising kids, where they're making kids seem smarter than the parents, and I mean that modern family. When you've got eyes to see it, some of the stuff you see, it's 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 deeply troubling. And this uh, Breaking Ben, which would be which would be a troubling name in itself. So I hope it's not. But it was something to do with Ben. He's an Asian guy. It's on Channel Nine. So keep your eyes open, guys. Keep your eye on the prize. Social progression here in Australia is absolutely out of control. That's why I say at the start of the video I was outraged and I was outraged and offended and angry, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how what I think because I'm speaking out against social progression. The only time it's relevant here in Australia uh, to be offended, to be outraged, is if something goes against social progression. And what's social progression? What is it? It's, it's everything that's anti-God, anti-Bible, it's erosion of society, um, and if you don't agree with it, you don't, you're a bigot, you know, where all these people who reject Christ and they make fun of Christ and they reject God, that's fine, that's completely okay here in Australia. So I, I'm still happy to be here, I'm a very, very happy Australian, I love living in Australia, the climate's wonderful, 
Uh, but we are we are falling ever, ever, ever deeper, deeper, deeper into the cesspit, into the bottomless pit of social progression in the interest of the new world order. It's sickening. It's sickening. But I've now got. I'm I'm now glad. I'm really glad. I've got these eyes to see and ears to hear now. And all glory goes to Christ. And I tell you guys, get right because He's coming soon. And the end is here. There's no time left. It's done.